Hey there guys, today I want to show you guys how to abuse SCTHC.ESE to prompt a command prompt. So, do you guys notice that when you guys accidentally press 3 5 time, your prompt a sticky key window, right? Actually, this one we can abuse this one to prompt a command prompt. This sticky key program is running as a SCTHC.ESE process. So, let's make an example. When you type a wrong password, it shows that our password is incorrect right now we want to reset the password but in this case if I press this one it shows I need to plug in the USB flash drive or I need to put the Windows installation DVD to reset it but in this case I don't have right so let's try to crash the uh, Windows first we power off it okay we start it again Okay, this one we start window normally, and then in this starting window, this icon here, we try to power off the machine again. We want to make it crash. Okay, we start again. Okay, in this case, we launch start up um, repair. Okay, this one, we let it search for the problem. This one might take a while to run. So, we, we let it run first. I think this one might take quite a while, so I think I will pause the video first. Later on, I continue, okay? Okay, guys, welcome back. So, over here, it will show that do you want to restore your computer using system restore? This, in this case, we press cancel. So it will just attempting to repair it. So this one, it takes quite a while too. So I try to pause the video first. The time we continue it. Okay, guys, welcome back. So just now, after the run, it will show that uh, the repair has been successful. So it will ask you if it were not successful, the startup repair might run again, right? So right now we press finish, let it restart, and then over here we try to crash it again to make it to launch the startup repair again. Okay, launch startup repair. Okay, so right now we let it search for the problems again. This might take a while too. We let it run. I think I will pause the video for a while. Later on we continue back. Okay guys, welcome back. So over here, it shows that the startup repair cannot repair this computer automatically. It asks us to send information to Windows, but right now, we scroll down here, we press this one to open the TXT file, and then we save as, over here we go to computer, go to our local DC, and we go to system32, over here we find, we press save as all document, because I want to show all the files, and then we find as, ah, we want to replace this one with our command prompt. So over here, we try to put a backup. We the backup is first, and then we find our command prompt. Command prompt. Okay. Find our command prompt over here. Okay. Your name is SCTSC. 
okay and then we cancel it we close everything else we close it finish let it restart the pc okay right now so we let the window boot normally Okay, so now we press shift 5 times. Okay, do you guys notice that? Normally it will prompt a sticky key, right? But in this case, it prompt a command prompt. And as you can see, that it's running as an anti authority user. So right now, we change our password. And user tester, which is this user. We change the password. I put it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, command successfully. We log in and see. And voila! As you can see, we can abuse SETHC.exe, this sticky key program, to prompt a command prompt to change our password or something like this as an anti authority system user. So. That's all for my video. Thanks guys. Bye bye.